So yeah, I don't know if you got a, a call. My buddy called uh, Angela Carmen's and we checked on the statutes. You couldn't find anything about filming in there, so it seemed like you were communicating some incorrect information. What's up y'all, it's uh, Pete here, Clyde behind the camera. It's Monday, October 28th, we're in Winston at, at one of three uh, recruitment fairs scheduled this week by the Winston PD. So uh, we thought we'd come out and share some other ideas maybe for uh, prospective recruits. Uh, so we have some resources, we have hopefully some witty banter and uh, inviting conversation. So we hope people will take a few seconds to talk with us, at least expose themselves to other ideas. And you know, it's pretty low, uh, risk way to share ideas that also happens to coincide I guess with some people voting for other people to run their lives I don't really understand that but it also makes for another demographic that we can do outreach to so it should be pretty effective inside the recruiting room police employee Curtis Kennedy was on the phone saying yeah cop blocks outside as he saw me enter he said one of them just came in he immediately came over and ordered me not to video or audio record you're welcome in here, but you can't have that on. Can I have it on? Turn it off. Okay. Okay. Y'all no, don't like accountability? Shut it down. Oh, that's just that. Turn, turn it off. Okay. Don't care if you can, you just can't. Okay. Video. Okay. And the reason is? You see property. I went in a short time later and found four Winston PD employees inside. Three of them were actually really receptive and solicited information from me, but... Curtis Kennedy was another matter. He was a little bit more hostile. He was, uh, I would say, unwilling to have an open conversation and uh, adamantly uh, refused uh, our right to video record public employees in a public building. On the second day, Angie and I got tossed from the room for discussing bad legislation and discretion of enforcement. Kennedy had been asking Angie personal questions about Pete and me, our last names, where our house was, when he suddenly snapped and banned all conversation that didn't have anything to do with recruiting. Oh, uh, we were just talking about um, bad laws and, and enforcing bad laws and once um, it got to a point where he was unhappy about the laws that he had to enforce, I guess, um, he said that that was enough. We weren't going to discuss that. We could discuss the recruiting and that was it. We weren't going to discuss any laws. We should go to the legislator to discuss any of that stuff. Later, I called Angela Carmen, Winston-Salem City Attorney, to clarify city ordinances that supposedly banned recording in city buildings and allowed restrictions on free speech. Afternoon, Angela Carmen, may I help you? Uh, mm -hmm. Calling from copblock.org, and I have a question. I had an encounter with one of the uh, police employees uh, this week, uh, Officer Kennedy, who's in charge of recruiting, and. Um, he told me that there was a city ordinance that banned uh, video and audio recording from all city buildings, but I could not find that ordinance. Uh, could you help me find that? Hmm, I'm not aware of this. Um, there's nothing to prevent you that I'm aware of from recording me. On the third and final day, I went to the facility where the recruitment was being done. Uh, I did approach Curtis Kennedy and ask him about his uh, demands and dictates he made towards myself and my friends earlier in the week, and he was pretty unwilling to have a conversation. Mr. Kennedy, would you have a second to have a conversation with me? Yeah, on a cell We can do it here outside. Or? I talked to you about our agency, the hiring process. Would you talk? We have to offer, but I'm not going to discuss uh, philosophies. Okay, would you talk to me about why on Monday you told me it, I, we weren't allowed to film in a public building? You get on your feet and you go walk around a beat. What would you have done if we would have filmed on Monday? Would you have arrested us? Okay, that kind of thing. You get, but you get out there and you talk to them. Can I ask why? I mean, at that time I felt like it was sort of a hostile. I felt like it was a hostile order at the time. I mean, think about your lack of accountability, man. In summary, we only witnessed two people come off the street for the three full days of recruitment fair held by the Winston PD. 
we were able to share a lot of resources with folks the first day who were there for voting for new masters, and we were able to have some good conversations with at least a few Winston PD employees, but Curtis Kennedy demonstrated why Cop Block exists, the inability to have an open-minded conversation about how this good or service of policing could be better provided. Proclaim short, I can venture to this dimension with no vengeance, I'm free. The same door, I've been knocking on for desperate need. The same floor, I've been crashing on for nesh in my sleep. The same phone, they be tapping and explodes in a beat. The same floor, I've been dropping for the messes that teach.